Distinguished guests and colleagues, thank you very much for your support today, enabling us to have such a special meeting online, on the cloud. Today, on behalf of Trina Solar, I will introduce our new module of Trina Solar 5.0 era, the Vertex of Multi-Bus Bar Module. This is the new 500-watt model. I will give you a brief report in three parts. First of all, why are we launching this product? Let's start by looking at the overall trends in the energy industry to see the global energy mix and trends in photovoltaic development. It is estimated by International Renewable Energy Agency that by 2050, PV will become the main source of power generation with global solar capacity reaching 8.5 terawatts. The yellow part of the figure represents PV power generation, which shows that this will be a huge market by 2050. So where does this huge market come from? The global weighted average LCOE of utility scale PV plants fell by more than 70% between 2010 and 2018 from 37 cents a kilowatt hour to 8.5 cents per kilowatt hour in 2018. The LCOE will continue to fall in the future. It's estimated that the LCOE of PV power will be between 2 to 8 cents per kilowatt hour by 2030 and will fall further to well below the LCOE of, of fossil fuel generation by 2050. The key reason why LCOE of PV power generation can be reduced lies in the improvement of power generation and the reduction of investment costs. The improvement of power generation rests with the improvement of power generation per watt and the increase of module life cycle. The reduction in initial investment is due to technological innovations that reduce module costs and manufacturing costs and improve the efficiency and power of the module. So from the perspective of R&D, the reduction of our LCOE of PV power generation, that is the device cost, comes from four directions. The first and second are low cost and high power of the PV module. The third is high reliability related to the life cycle of the module, which has been extended from 25 to 30 years. The fourth is how to increase power generation under various environmental, climate, and light conditions, which is an important subject of R&D. We can reduce the LCOE of the PV system from these four directions. They are what we are pursuing. The power generation of modules has been greatly improved since 2009, involving continuous optimization and innovation of solar cell technology and module technology. In 2009, we knew that the minimum power of PV module could reach 290 watts. Around 2012, the introduction of selective emitter technology made the power exceed 300 watts and even reached 320 watts. By 2014, with the mature industrialization technology, the power reached 385 watts. 2019 ushered in an era of 400 watts. Optimization of the industrialization technology can increase the power by at least 5 watts per decade, and the advent of new technologies can increase it by 10 to 15 watts per decade. So, starting from 2019, when we adopted the large size 160 millimeter wafer, the maximum power can reach 445 watts. Today, we use the larger 210 millimeter wafer. Our goal is to increase the power to 500 watts. That's the basic background. The 500 watt PV module is a milestone new product. What are the key technologies employed by the module side of Trina Solar's world pioneering 500 watt PV module? Compared with existing products, 500 watt module demonstrates higher power and efficiency. The efficiency reaches more than 21%. Higher reliability. The more reliable materials and technologies ensure 30 years of power generation. Higher power generation, higher capacity, and low temperature environment with low temperature coefficient. These are the four technical characteristics. Speaking of technology, we employ four key technologies. 
The first is the larger 210 mm wafer, which we call the M12. As you can see, the wafer size went from 156 mm to 158 and 166, now up to 210 mm. This is the trend. Second, the module side optimizes the cell welding technology by splitting the cell into three sections before making the module. This is a new design. Third, the multi-bush bar, MBB technology, invented by Trina Solar, with which the module side is capable of collecting the currents more evenly, enhancing the optical and electrical advantages. With the help of Trina Solar, this technology has become widespread in the industry. The fourth is the new technology of such a high density encapsulation at the module side, where cells are connected in series. Next, I'll share with you from the perspective of these four technologies. First, the larger wafer. The same is true of the semiconductor industry. Long ago, in the 1960s, the semiconductor industry adopted the 2-inch wafer, and by 2005, the 12-inch wafer was ubiquitous. In the 1990s, the PV industry adopted the 100 millimeter wafer, and in 2008, the market saw the 156 millimeter, the 157 millimeter, the 158 millimeter, and 161 millimeter ones, and then up to 166 millimeters. The size of wafer varies, and the power increases with the expansion of the wafer. The current 210 millimeter wafer is equivalent to the 12-inch wafer, which is transmitted from the semiconductor industry to the PV. This technology can increase the power of PV even more. Second, the one-third split cell. Trina Solar has filed a patent for the technology. We did a very detailed technical evaluation, evaluating the current, voltage, electrical performance of the one-third split cell, and the performance of the module side at the system side. We compared the one-third design with the one-half and the one-quarter designs and those of even more sections and analyzed them. The one-third split cell design is optimized for 210 millimeter wafers in terms of the reliability of module manufacturing and the optimization of current collection at the cell side. As we see such parameters as current and voltage are also in line with the system used for 166 millimeter wafers, so we reach a balance. This also ensures system side security. Non-destructive cutting, NDC, is another technology adopted. Traditional cutting, such as the one-third split cell design, involve two basic steps. First, melting the silicon on the surface with a high temperature laser, and the second is to cut the cell mechanically by bending it. This is common practice in the industry but it creates cross-section problems. Now we have developed the NDC technology, which uses a laser at a relatively low temperature to achieve smooth, burr-free cross-sections. Therefore, the module side acquires the better pressure resistance performance, preventing the module from microcrack. The third is MBB technology. We apply too much and are leading the industry. In terms of optical and electrical properties, 75% of the light energy is reflected into the cell side, increasing the light trapping efficiency. If we employ 5BB with flat welding strip, the light trapping rate can only reach 5%. The optical performance increases power by 1 to 1.5% and enhances the module efficiency. In terms of electricity, the MBB design reduces the distance of current movement between bus bars, thus reducing the overall resistance and improving electrical performance by 1% to 1.5%. In addition, our module is more efficient. Trina Solar realizes high-density encapsulation through technology R&D. We reduced the distance between the encapsulated cells from 2 millimeters to less than 0.5 millimeters compared to that between the cells of traditional modules. They have an advantage over shingling. There is a risk of micro-crack in the shingling design, so we improve the module efficiency 
while ensuring the same yield as the shingling design. As the figure on the left shows, we are equal to the shingling design in efficiency and yield. So the design we chose has manufacturability, high yield, and high power. Trina Solar Vertex 500 watt module have been patented to protect our intellectual property rights. We have six invention patents and a dozen appearance patents, a total of 29 patents. For the client side, such a new product on the system side will inevitably lead to the obvious decrease in the LCOE. For 450 watt modules, the BOS can drop by 2.3% and the LCOE by 1% to 2%. The contribution of 500 watt modules is more obvious, reducing the BOS by 6 to 8% and the LCOE by 3 to 4%. Therefore, reducing the LCOE is one of our most important goals. In terms of system compatibility, the product can be compatible with a regular central inverter or string inverter. As for the tracker, the conventional fixed tracker can be used directly. And we are also compatible with the mainstream model trackers from the mainstream vendors. Therefore, there is no technical barrier in this respect. It is compatible. When will Trina Solar launch this product and supply customers in large quantities? We started the development of this new product in August and September last year, working with our partners and upstream and downstream. As a manufacturer of modules, Trina Solar plans to put it in mass production in Q3 this year, with a planned capacity of 5 gigawatts for the whole year. Finally, let me brief the technical reserves and technical strength of Trina Solar. In 2010, Trina Solar was awarded as the R&D platform of the State Key Laboratory of PV Science and Technology by the Ministry of Science and Technology of China and obtained the qualification of the TUV Rhineland Germany TMP Witness Test PV Lab, as well as the first qualification of the UL's, that's USA's, Witness Free Test PV Lab. We have invested more than $8 billion in R&D since 2010, and in fact, more than $10 billion overall. As of last year, we have set 20 world records in terms of cell efficiency and module power, participated in and led the development of 99 industrial standards, applied for more than 1,700 patents, and undertaken more than 60 science and technology projects initiated by the Ministry of Science and Technology, the Ministry of Industry and Information Technology, and provincial ministries, including the National 973 Project, National 863 Project, and National R&D Projects. Today, Trina Solar announced the name of its newly designed 500-watt PV module, Vertex. This is a brand new product. I hope all of you can support Trina Solar to bring more value to our customers.